All right, guys, so getting right to it, little disclaimer here, I changed the one piece away to outside looking in. I honestly don't feel like explaining why I think each and every team is one piece away from making the playoffs. So for the simplicity of this video and for my mental health, they are on the outside looking in. Starting off with the AFC North, you got the Baltimore Ravens. I would have them as the favorite. I'm only gonna have one favorite for the sake of this video. And I don't think they're at the top of the mountain. I think they are a contender. From there, you got the Cincinnati Bengals. They're another contender. The Ravens are more complete, I would say, even though I trust the Bengals offense a little bit more. Then we got the Cleveland Browns. I had them at outside looking in at first, but the fact that they went 11 and six without, well, with four starting quarterbacks last year, I gotta put them in playoffs. If Deshaun Watson is healthy all season long, and if he returns to his Houston Texans days, even just three fourths of that, honestly, they'll be fine. Now looking at the Pittsburgh Steelers, Mike Tomlin's gone. They've been a playoff team forever, but I think this is the first year where they're not. Heading over to the AFC East, Buffalo Bills, they're a contender for sure. I got them slightly behind the Bengals. I just trust Joe Burrow a lot more than Josh Allen. New York Jets, I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be back to full form. However, I'm a native New Yorker. I've watched the Jets all my life, and they've disappointed me time and time again. And even though it almost feels right to say, yeah, they'll make the playoffs this year, I don't believe in them. I think they're going to be on the outside looking in. The AFC is just too stacked. And even with him, honestly, I think the Jets are, are still a few pieces away. Even though the Jets have a better defense, Miami's offense is electric. And, and to be honest with you, I think they'll be the runner up in the division again. The Patriots, they're definitely going to be the favorites. <laughs> yeah, right. Send help. They're a dumpster fire. Bill Belichick is gone. I mean, that's probably going to help them a little bit, but... I think they just need a lot of help, man. So they'll probably have a really high draft pick, but they're going to be the first team. Am I send help, bro? The Denver Broncos, they're not a playoff team. Heck no. I'll put them in between the Jets and the Steelers. I don't think they're going to make it. They're most likely going to trade Russell Wilson as well. So whoever they replace him with, I don't think they're going to be much better. Moving on, Kansas City Chiefs, they've got to be the favorite. Vegas Raiders, they, hmm, they'll probably get third in their division. I got them right ahead of the Broncos. After firing their coach, they got a lot better. Now with the whole season with new leadership and guys with just a way higher morale, you still got Devontae Adams. You still got Josh Jacobs. If they had a better quarterback, honestly, I could see them as a playoff team. But until then, I don't think Jimmy G's going to get it done. The Chargers, this one is a bit of a hot topic here because with Harbaugh, they could be a playoff team, but... I don't know, man. Again, the AFC is just really stacked, and I got my last AFC playoff spot already designated for somebody else. The Houston Texans. I think this team is going to build on their momentum from last season, and I think they're going to make the playoffs again. Not only that, they'll probably have a better record than the Browns. Indianapolis Colts. I like them a lot. They're on the outside looking in, and I'll put them behind the Jets, actually. Jacksonville Jaguars. They're the elite of the outside looking in because obviously there's already seven teams here so somebody's got to miss the playoffs in tennessee titans i got them as a high draft pick the chicago bears i'm gonna go with the timeline of them trading justin fields and getting caleb williams even if they were to get a better quarterback they still need to invest in their offensive line and even get some better receivers as well so uh, they i don't think they're gonna make a a, a leap like the texans did but I think they'll have a. They'll, I think they'll be a lot better off than they were before. They're on the outside looking in. I'll put them here. I think this is a safe spot. Detroit Lions. They are definitely contenders. They built off of the momentum from the 2022 season, and I think next season they'll be even better. Green Bay Packers. Definitely a playoff team. If they keep building on their momentum from last season, I could see them competing with the Lions at some point. Minnesota Vikings. Definitely on the outside looking in. Dallas Cowboys. Oh, man. I would love to put them on send help, but realistically, they're going to be a playoff team. And realistically, they're probably going to have a better record than Green Bay. I would say the Cowboys are probably the second best team in, in this little tier here. Regular season wise, they're not bad, but in the postseason, they suck. New York Giants, I think they're going to continue to descend from their fluke season that they had a couple years ago. With their quarterback play, their line, uh... uh I, put, I, I gotta put them as a high draft pick, man. I, I just don't believe in the Giants. Philadelphia Eagles, they're a contender. I'll put them... I think these two teams are just a, a tad bit better, but I would trust the Eagles more than the Bills and the Lions. Washington, they're a, a high draft pick team. 
The Cardinals, they're definitely not a playoff team. Heck no. But outside looking in, high draft pick. I guess with a, a full year of Kyler Murray, I think they'll they'll, they'll 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 probably get back to respectable win margin. So yeah, I think the LA Rams are a playoff team. They looked pretty good. They gave the Lions a run for their money last year. Where do I put them? I put them behind Green Bay actually. Yeah, San Francisco. I think they're the best team in the NFC. I think San Fran, as they stand now, unless they lose a lot of guys in free agency, I could see them going back to the at least the NFC Championship game. Seattle Seahawks, I think they'll be a decent squad. I don't think they'll be a playoff team again. I'll put them again. Don't don't take all of this here as law. I mean, who who knows? <laughs> and that leaves us with the NFC South. One of these teams has to win their division, and we know who it's not going to be. So I'll put them at send help again. They'll probably be a lot better than they were last year. Maybe not a lot. They'll probably be they'll probably be slightly better than they were last year, but. You know what? I'll put them as a high draft pick instead of send help. I think the Patriots just suck. Atlanta. Honestly? All right, look. Hear me out. In this scenario, the Bears trade for Caleb Williams, which obviously means Justin Fields had to get traded somewhere else. I'm going to hypothetically say that he goes to Atlanta. The Falcons have a pretty decent squad. They have a good running game. They have some good receivers. They have an okay defense, and they barely missed out on the playoffs of Ritter as their quarterback. In this scenario, I think I think they do it. I think they make the playoffs. I think they're the worst team in the playoffs by far, but I think they make it. I think the Bucks are on the outside looking in. Baker Mayfield played a pretty good second half of the season, but we'll see. And then the New Orleans Saints, they're also on the outside looking in. They should be better than the Bucks. I know a lot of people believe that they are too, but year after year, they always fall short. I, I gotta put them behind the, the Bucks. All right, guys, so I made a few revisions. I brought down Chicago, Denver, Arizona, and Pittsburgh from the outside looking in section. I just didn't think they belonged on the same tier as some of these guys here. And then I moved down Tennessee, Washington, and Carolina. Again, I just think these teams that are listed here are in better standing than these three down here, especially New England. Forget about them. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you disagree with anything, keep it respectful, but let me know. Till next time, peace.